Lesson 2-6, Graphing in Four Quadrants. Every coordinate plane is divided into four equal sections, or quadrants, with the prefix quad, meaning four of something. The quadrant in the upper right-hand corner is the first quadrant. To the left of that, we have the second quadrant. Below the second quadrant, we have the third quadrant. And to the right of the third quadrant, we have the fourth quadrant. The axis moving from left to right or in the horizontal direction is called the x-axis. And the axis moving in the vertical direction, up and down, is called the y-axis. Okay, so why is all this even important? Well, let's consider the ordered pair 2, comma 4. Okay. Uh, and for those of you who have forgotten what an ordered pair is. An ordered pair uh, is simply a set of numbers, two numbers, that consists of an x-coordinate, which is the first number on your left, and a, a y-coordinate, which is the second number to its right. Okay. The x-coordinate tells you how many, how many units to move left or right on the x-axis, and the y-coordinate, uh, which in this case is 4, tells you how many units to move up or down on the y-axis, okay? Uh, so if we wanted to graph the ordered pair 2 comma 4, the first thing we need to do is start at the origin, which is the point smack in the middle of our coordinate plane. This is the ordered pair 0 comma 0, right? which simply means that uh, at, this, <clears throat> at this point in your coordinate plane, the x value is 0 and the y value is 0, okay? So when graphing on the coordinate plane, this is your starting point. Alright, so let's consider the ordered pair 2, comma 4. Okay, the x-coordinate, which in this case is positive 2, tells us that starting at the origin, we will move to the right two units in the positive direction, right? So 1, 2, and then our y-coordinate, positive 4, tells us that we will move up in the positive direction four units. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be the ordered pair 2, comma 4. Okay, let's try the ordered pair. Negative 3, comma, 5. Alright, let's graph the ordered pair negative 3, comma, 5. So once again, starting in the middle at our origin, okay? Uh, because our x-coordinate is negative, we will move to the left, right, in the negative direction, 3 units. 1, 2, 3. Our y-coordinate is positive 5, so we'll move up 1, two, three, four, five units. So this coordinate, I'm sorry, this ordered pair is negative three comma five. Let's try a couple more. Let's graph the ordered pairs negative four negative 4, negative 5, and 8, negative 3. Okay, so uh, for the ordered pair negative 4 and negative 5, starting at the origin, we'll move 4 units to the left, right, because we're working with a negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 units down because it's a negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this would be, this ordered pair, would be negative 4, negative 5. And then we have 8, negative 3, starting at the origin. Uh, because it's a positive 8, we'll move to the right in the positive direction. 8 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we'll move down 1, 2, negative 3 units. So this would be 8, comma, negative 3. Let's try one more. Let's graph the ordered pair.
negative 5, 0. Okay, so the x-coordinate is negative 5. So starting at the origin, we'll move to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. And because the y-coordinate is 0, that simply means that we will move 0 spaces uh, in the vertical direction. So this would be negative 5, comma, 0. Okay, and that's all there really is to graphing ordered pairs on the coordinate plane. See you in the next video.